Today we got to discuss a rather tragic case out of Ohio. So, you have a Ohio man who has been charged with a very serious crime after he allegedly fatally shot an Uber driver he believed was scamming him. William Brock allegedly shot 61-year-old Lolita Hall. William Brock is 81 years old. So I want you to notice immediately how they're framing this. You know, he believed that she was scamming him. It's not framed as, as he's a he's a thug. It's not framed that as as he was evil. It's not framed that he uh he has problems and 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 and, and that's the 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 reflection of his community. He doesn't get to represent his his community. He doesn't get to, to represent his community. But whenever a black person does anything, whenever a black person so much as, as even jaywalks, suddenly we are the representatives of our entire community. And I find it to be very, very strange. I want you to notice the pattern of how they're framing this, right? I want you to notice the pattern though. See, this woman is being followed by this man and he thinks she's scamming him. She's saying stop or I'll call 911. William Brock shot Lalika Hall thinking that she was trying to scam him. A preliminary investigation revealed Brock was the victim of a phone scam involving a relative who was incarcerated and the scammer allegedly threatened and demanded money from Brock. Hall, who worked as an Uber driver, was looped into the scam after receiving communications from the same scammer who contacted Brock through the Uber application. The scammers allegedly asked Hall to go to Brock's home to pick up a package for delivery, but investigators reportedly said Hall did not know about the scam when she drove to Brock's property to pick up the package. She had no idea. She had no idea, and this man immediately goes to grab a firearm and goes to shoot this innocent woman. He had no idea the reason why she was there. No clue. No clue. And he still did what he did. But I want you guys to know something, a, a, a pattern here, even from Black Enterprise, right? And you would think that Black Enterprise would have would have would have gotten this right. But even Black Enterprise has been doing a little bit of shucking and jiving lately. Scam victim points gun at random Uber driver moments before he allegedly fatally shot her. Leaked footage shows the Uber driver's dash camera, dash camera from, from Lolita Hall, her vehicle, shows William Brock pointing a gun at the driver before she passed away. So, so I want you to notice how even Black Enterprise is framing this. Oh, he's a victim of a scam. Poor guy. This poor man who's a victim of a scam pulls out a firearm and shoots someone. And you're not framing it as as this guy is 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 cold blooded. No, 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 no. You're framing it like he's a he's a scam victim. Hey, could happen to anybody. That's how they're framing it. Do you think that if the shooter were black, they would frame it like this? Is there any doubt in your mind that if the shooter were black, say say for example, this would have been a black man and a white woman. Do you think this would have been framed like this? Honestly. And when you answer that question, answer honestly. Do you really think it would be framed like this? I mean, again, let's let's go back to Black Enterprise. You would you would expect better. Scam victim. So they're making him the victim. They're making him a victim. How is he a victim when he took someone's life? How is it okay to pull out a firearm with, with someone who is not posing you any lethal threat whatsoever? How is that ever okay? And how are you a victim in that situation? How are you a victim by any description? But Black Enterprise decided to label him as such. Right, I, I want you to see this one little piece here. Right, this is, this is, this is pretty telling. According to the New York Post, the 81-year-old William Brock fell victim 
to a telephone scam on March 25th. The scammer also tricked the driver, 61-year-old Lolita Hall. Both were contacted by Brock's incarcerated relative or an accomplice who threatened him for money. When Hall arrived, when Hall arrived to pick up the package from Brock's West Virginia home, he approached Hall with a gun, pointed it, pointed it, and and pointed it at her. Hall, who was outside, attempted to get back in her car. And as you saw from the footage, she never did. She never got a chance to get back into her car. But they still framed it like he's a victim. How are you a victim when you took someone's life that that that, that you weren't even sure was actually involved in this? If you're being scammed, if you're being threatened, how do you know this person here isn't being threatened too? And you just pull out a gun and you fire at someone and you, and you are framing this person. The media, even the so-called black media, is framing it like this guy's a victim. Ain't that some? Ain't that some? They're framing it like he is the victim. That ain't what I said. Again, black enterprise, scam victim. How, how are you a victim? Listen. How are you a victim, right? When you points gun at random Uber driver, right? Moments before taking her life. How's the word victim come into play there? And yet, it is white America who will tell us that we play the victim all the time. Y'all are victims even when you take someone's life who did nothing wrong. It, white privilege is, is so powerful that even black enterprise engages in it. Jesus. Jesus, Lord. Man, rest in peace to, to Lalitha Hall. You did not you, you did not deserve deserve to lose your life to this suspected white supremacist here. William Brock, because that's the excuse. Oh, I was scammed, I was scammed. You probably just want wanted to take 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 the freaking life of a black person and you found the perfect scenario to do it. How do I know that's not true? This is also West Virginia. This ain't this ain't freaking, you know, this ain't exactly a metro city. It's West Virginia. Yeah, that place. So sad, man. Rest in peace to to Lalitha Hall. You lost your life because of a suspected white supremacist and their relative who is also a criminal. 